Hey tech friends, this is day six of becoming a 100x engineer. Now, before we start, I wanna preface by saying that at the moment, this is currently more of a meme than reality, but there is a vision and I do believe eventually we will get to 100x engineer with these AI coding tools. Now, let me give you a rundown of everything from the top. So I made this video where I show like all these commits that I've done, pretty much one commit every couple of minutes. And obviously I didn't do this manually. This is all done with a tool called Ader. Now I'm not gonna go too in depth on how to set up Ader and how it works, but we're gonna quickly go through the main points that will get us to 100X engineer in the future. So Ader is predominantly a CLI tool that works in the terminal. It's a Python module. You install it with pip install normally, or you can use pipx. A whole lot of complications with Python version management. So this is definitely not for noobs. This is more of an experienced AI coding tool. For most people, I'd probably recommend tools like Cursor, Windsurf, Klein, or Exponent. Now there's a few key features with Ader that will get us to that 100x. Let me show you. There's this proven concept in programming called test-driven development, which is very powerful, especially with these tools. Essentially, so yeah, essentially how it works is first you write the test before you write the actual functioning code. Then you write the code slash the test pass, and then you repeat from step one with the new tests for the new features or functionality you wanna add. This ensures every time you add something new, nothing old breaks. You always have those old tests and it kind of loops like this. Now this is very useful for AI coding because these AI systems tend to break old functionality when adding new functionality. And this works really good with this yes and auto test features in Ada. It kind of lets you say yes and leave the AI to autonomously work by itself. So then we get things like here, I showed this on day two or three and I have three different tabs open with Ada running on three different models at the same time. Now how I do this is see here, here I have on my stream yesterday, I had two different windows. And what I do is I either clone or copy the project into a new folder, which will kind of be separate from the, the main folder. So we have two separate folders locally of the same code base. So we can have two agents working on the same code base without conflicting with each other. And we put them on separate branches so we can merge the code with Git really nicely and have all the working changes back into the main branch. So those were the first three concepts here. Now there's the fourth one, the orchestrator. Now this is really cool. This is like the person or the AI system, hopefully on top, that orchestrates and manages all these different things and tells all the individual AIs to work on which particular functions. Now at the moment, this is all being done manually through myself as I'm testing out the possibility and theorizing how this would work. But in the future, I don't see why an AI can't be the orchestrator as well managing all the separate agents, telling them what to do, merging, doing all that management as well. And yeah, that's kind of the vision. So at the moment, um, I'd say we're a long way from 100x. We're probably at about 0.2x um, because I'm actually probably losing efficiency um, trying to manage all this stuff compared to doing it um, on my own. That's because I'm, I'm a bit more of an experienced software developer. So I think like I would outperform um, my current self trying to manage all this stuff. But in the future, I, I think we can eventually get to that that beautiful 100x engineer. I don't know. Currently, it's a bit of a meme, but I love, I love it. It excites me. So I hope you guys stick around for the journey and we get to 100x engineer. Thank you so much, tech friends. I'll see you next episode.